Hi everyone, this is Mo Rashid from Sky Driving Team, UK Great Britain, with one more educational video to help as many as people like to drive safely and pass UK driving theory and practical test first time with regrets and uh, uh, sorry to say that current UK Great Britain pass rate for theory and practical of car test is lowest I have ever come across I have been approved driving instructor since 2003 and with passion and motivationally I can say that I have helped thousands of students London region to make them pass first time their theory and practical test. I love to help everyone in the country but unfortunately not possible but with this platform of YouTube channel now it can be possible. Please like, share, subscribe this channel so you receive all my new videos. Today mock test video I have completed 50 DVSA official question and answers and I am very positive that in you in a positive in you the real DVSA theory test you will come across the same question. You need to complete my only five video of mock test theory and hazard perception each of them and I can give you assurance and guarantee that after completing five each mock test video on my channel you are ready to take mock test video and yourself with ease to pass end of this video I will share with you one of the best or actually I can say the best UK Great Britain theory and hazard perception theory app which you can download on your mobile device uh, Android or iOS I have been using this great absolutely fantastic app since I am approved driving instructor which was since 2003 and this is the only app can give you complete guarantee to pass or 100% money back guarantee from the app developer. No other app in the UK, Great Britain offer this. If you still not like, share, subscribe and click on a bell icon, please do so. I like you to comment your thoughts and let me know which area section or category you want me to make educational videos so i can help as many people like you to pass first time uk great britain car test i'm on a mission to help as many people like to you pass uh, before we go though to this mock test i want you to uh, know the end of this video you will see a three questions which i have uh, deliberately uh, spitefully uh, purposely selected are wrong because 99 percent people in the uk great britain they answer them are wrong so let's go to what's to today's mock test video What does it mean if the signs at a bus lane show no times of operation? The lane isn't in operation. The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. The lane is only in operation at peak times. The lane is only in operation in daylight hours. You're driving on a clear night. Which lights should you use if the national speed limit applies and there's a steady stream of oncoming traffic? Dipped headlights. Full beam headlights. Fog lights. 
Side lights. You're driving on a busy main road. What should you do if you find that you're driving in the wrong direction? Turn around in a side road. Turn into a side road on the right and reverse into the main road. Make a U-turn in the main road. Make a three-point turn in the main road. You're driving a friend's children home from school, they are both under 14 years old. Who's responsible for making sure they wear a seat belt or approved child restraint where required? The children. Your friend. An adult passenger. You, the driver. What must you do at this junction? Stop beyond the line, at a point where you can see clearly. Stop behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Stop only if there's traffic on the main road. Stop only if you're turning right. You're driving with your front fog lights switched on. What should you do if the fog has cleared? Leave them on if other drivers have their lights on. Switch them off as long as visibility remains good. Drive with them on instead of your headlights. Flash them to warn oncoming traffic that it's foggy. What hazard should you be aware of when traveling along this street? Children running out between vehicles. Glare from the sun. Lack of road markings. Large goods vehicles. What can you expect if you drive using rapid acceleration and heavy braking? Reduced exhaust emissions. Increased road safety. Reduced pollution. Increased fuel consumption. What will help you to keep your car secure? Being a member of a vehicle breakdown organization. Registering with a vehicle watch scheme. Passing an advanced driving test. Taking car maintenance classes. How can you reduce the damage your vehicle causes to the environment? Brake heavily. Use narrow side streets. Anticipate well ahead. Use busy routes. What does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500 pounds? The insurance company will pay the first £500 of any claim. You'll have to pay the first £500 of the cost of any claim. Your vehicle is insured for a value of £500 if it's stolen. You'll be paid £500 if you don't claim within one year.
What does this sign mean? Telephone box ahead. Toilet ahead. T junction. No through road. What will be affected if the road surface becomes soft in very hot weather? The tire grip. The exhaust emissions. The fuel consumption. The suspension. Which diagram shows a hazard warning line? Which lights must you use if you're driving on a well-lit motorway at night? Use only your side lights. Use rear fog lights. Use front fog lights. Use your headlights. What's the purpose of these road markings? To enable parents to pick up or drop off children safely. To ensure delivery vehicles have easy access to the school. To ensure children can see and be seen when they are crossing the road. To enable teachers to have clear access to the school. What does this sign mean? Vehicles may not park on the verge or footway. Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. Vehicles may park on the right-hand side of the road only. Vehicles may park on the left-hand side of the road only. What will be a serious distraction while you're driving? Looking in your door mirror. Using your windscreen washers. Looking at road maps. Switching on your demister. Where is your vehicle most likely to be affected by side winds? On an open stretch of road on a narrow country lane, on a long, straight road, on a busy stretch of road. What's the speed limit for a car towing a trailer on a motorway? 40 mph, 60 mph, 50 mph, 70 mph Which road user has caused a hazard? The parked car, arrowed A. The pedestrian waiting to cross, arrowed B. The car turning, arrowed D. The moving car, arrowed C. You're about to drive your car. What should you do if you can't find the glasses you need to wear? Drive home at night, so that the lights will help you. Borrow a friend's glasses and use those. Drive home slowly, keeping to quiet roads. Find a way of getting home without driving. Which driving technique can help you save fuel? Using each gear in turn. Missing out some gears. Using lower gears as often as possible. Accelerating sharply in each gear.
which road users benefit from toucan crossings. Tram and train drivers. Car drivers and motorcyclists. Bus and lorry drivers. Cyclists and pedestrians. You're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist ahead is signaling to turn right? Give a warning with your horn. Signal the cyclist to move across. Overtake on the right. Give the cyclist plenty of room. What should you do when you see this sign at a crossroads? Carry on with great care. Telephone the police. Find another route. Maintain the same speed. What does this sign mean? Zebra crossing ahead. No pedestrians allowed. Pedestrian zone, no vehicles. School crossing patrol. When may you cross a double solid white line in the middle of the road? To pass a vehicle that's towing a trailer. To pass a car signaling to turn left ahead. To pass a road maintenance vehicle traveling at 10 mph or less. To pass traffic that's queuing back at a junction. What should you do if you see a pedestrian waiting at a zebra crossing? Go on quickly before they step onto the crossing. Ignore them as they are still on the pavement. Be ready to slow down or stop to let them cross. Stop before you reach the zigzag lines and let them cross. You're approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? Wave at them to cross the road. Slow down and prepare to stop. Give way to older and infirm people only. Use your headlights to indicate they can cross. What must you check before you drive someone else's vehicle? That the vehicle is insured for your use. That the vehicle owner has third-party insurance cover that your own vehicle has insurance cover, that the insurance documents are in the vehicle. Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? Road sweeper, tractor, lorry, bicycle, You're driving at night. What should you do if you're dazzled by headlights coming towards you? Shade your eyes with your hand. Slow down or stop. Pull down your sun visor. Flash your main beam headlights. You want to turn left at this junction. What should you do if your view of the main road is restricted? Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. Build up your speed so that you can emerge quickly. Stop and apply the parking brake even if the road is clear. Stay well back and wait to see if anything comes.
What should you do if you start to feel drowsy while you're driving on a motorway? Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. Slow down and let other drivers overtake. Speed up to arrive at your destination sooner. Stop on the hard shoulder for a sleep. How can you reduce the chances of your car being broken into when leaving it unattended? Park near a taxi rank. Take all valuables with you. Park near a fire station. Place any valuables on the floor. When must you use dipped headlights during the day? When you're driving along narrow streets. All the time you're driving. When you're driving in poor visibility. When you're parking. What should you do to reduce the risk of your vehicle catching fire? Use fuel additives. Keep water levels above maximum. Check out any strong smell of fuel. Avoid driving with a full tank of fuel. What do these zigzag white lines mean? No parking at any time. Sounding horns isn't allowed. Slow down to 20 mph. Parking allowed only for a short time. The road is wet. Why would a motorcyclist steer around drain covers while they were cornering? To avoid puncturing the tires on the edge of the drain covers. To help judge the bend using the drain covers as marker points. To prevent the motorcycle sliding on the metal drain covers. To avoid splashing pedestrians on the pavement. You're driving on an open road in dry weather. What distance should you keep from the vehicle in front? A two second time gap. One car length. Two car lengths. 2 meters, 6 feet 6 inches. You wish to turn right ahead. Why should you take up the correct position in good time? To help other road users know what you intend to do. To give a better view into the road that you're joining. To allow drivers to pass you on the right. To allow other drivers to pull out in front of you. What should you do if you're being followed by an ambulance showing flashing blue lights? Maintain your speed and course. Accelerate hard to get away from it. Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. Brake harshly and stop well out into the road. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? Turn left at the next junction. Pull up on the left. Stop immediately. Move over to the left. What's the safest thing to do if you have to leave valuables in your car? Park near a school entrance. Put them in a carrier bag. Park near a bus stop. Lock them out of sight.
Attitude Andy is taking a trip to the countryside on a busy bank holiday Monday. On the ring road leaving town he sees two cars racing each other away from the lights. On a busy stretch of two-way traffic he then sees one of the cars traveling very closely behind a van. In the distance he can see a light-controlled pedestrian crossing which is on red and there are people crossing. As he gets nearer, the lights change to flashing amber. Once clear of the town, he makes progress by traveling at the maximum permitted speed for the road. Checking his mirrors, Andy is aware that a vehicle is traveling very closely. Behind and appears to want to overtake. Getting closer to his destination, Andy is now in a rural area and encounters a person herding sheep who asks Andy to stop. What style of driving causes increased risk to everyone? Considerate. Competitive. Defensive. Responsible. What does tailgating mean? Driving with rear fog lights on. Reversing into a parking space. Following another vehicle too closely. Driving an automatic vehicle. At the Pelican crossing the flashing amber lights means that Andy must. Give way to pedestrians waiting to cross. Stop and wait for the red light. Stop and wait for the green light. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. What should Andy do if the driver behind is trying to overtake him? Wave the driver behind to overtake when it is safe. Accelerate to get away from the driver behind. Keep a steady course and allow the driver to overtake. Move closer to the car ahead, so the driver behind has no room to overtake. The person herding sheep has asked Andy to stop. What should Andy do? Continue on but drive slowly. Ignore them as they have no authority. Try and get past quickly. Stop and switch off his engine. What must you do at this junction? Stop beyond the line, at a point where you can see clearly. Stop behind the line, then edge forward to see clearly. Stop only if there's traffic on the main road. Stop only if you're turning right. Which diagram shows a hazard warning line? You're driving at night. What should you do if you're dazzled by headlights coming towards you? Shade your eyes with your hand. Slow down or stop. Pull down your sun visor. Flash your main beam headlights. Congratulations, all of you completed a 50 questions and all of you answered a 50 out of 50. Well done for that. Some of you found it a little bit difficult and trust me, after these 50 questions, all of your, all of you, in every single of you, your knowledge has increased. And these are the questions which you have covered. They are quite hard and a bit tricky. 
let's come towards to this uh, special uh, clip which I'm making and adding for you at the end of this video. Driving Test Success is a, one of the best app in the market in the UK Great Britain which you can download and practice official questions from the DVSA for the UK car theory test. In this, you will have uh, activate the pass guarantee and you will get the money back if you are not successful. You have to follow the criteria. They give you five mock tests consisting you have to pass. All the practice questions are here with the one click. Each category, so you go through it and completed all the questions one by one. After that, you can take a mock test, the same mock test which I have done it now, which you can see it. All those questions, they are exactly questions, including a scenario or situation based at the last five questions you will get in your actual theory day. Same time, the questions which you want to search afterwards, if you think is uh, you need to practice more, you can type in the questions will come up. Or while you are reading or are doing a mock test or a study and you can uh, save your questions, which comes in a my question, which will give you a whole list of the questions which you like to read again. There will be those your questions and they will be there for you till you complete confident and release them from the my questions list. Then after that, at the drop down, you will see a progress monitor. It will keep your progress individually for the every mock test. The areas which you are reading, like a practicing categories by categories, will give you a feedback and tells you where you are stands. Underneath, you will see a stopping distance. Every one of us finding a difficulty to find a stopping distance because this is the calculation a mathematic which you do hit or you can memorize it based on the speed 30 40 50 60 70 miles and a stopping distance in a rain or a dry condition as well same time it will give you help and support this is the app i've been using since 2000 actually this is uh, i've been using since 2003 but it was in a cd room and i used to give it to my students to practice and pass uh, I've been instructed since 2003 and, and this app, uh, it's changed it from CD-ROM to an app. Now everybody can download to into their Android or iOS phone. Uh, I want to help all of you, every single of you, every single of the person in the UK create between the past the few test first time. Uh, I cannot go and find everyone because I have a limited of time myself to teach everyone. So please spread this word and share this video, like this video, subscribe and click on the channel and click on the bell icon so you will get the all new notifications or new videos regularly. I'm making a video on a regular basis and you will get them. I'm on a mission to help as many as people to pass theory and the practical test for the UK Great Britain. So please help me and share this video. See you in the next video. Till then, you look after yourself and Lord of this universe bless you with a lot of love happiness and success. Amen.